Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I've got a it's a one sixteenth ounce uh, jig head, green and yellow, <laughs> and I've not got my. I'm getting bad for not having my thread ready when I start the video. Maybe we can get it here pretty quick. I've got my Yala Danville 210 thread. So let's go ahead and get some thread laid down here. We're just going to go about halfway back to the hook tip. There should be good. Get off that tag in. Uh, let's see here. Sally Hansen. Here we go. Hit those threads a little bit with the Sally Hansen. I went ahead and cut me some hackle tips. I've got some uh, green chartreuse and I've also got some yellow. I'm going to go ahead and tie one of those green just on the opposite side. Put a yellow in there. I'm just gonna alternate these green and yellow. Or green chartreuse and yellow. chartreuse that's a total of five I had three chartreuse and two yellow but there's what we've got so far okay now I don't know I was going to use this uh, I believe I'll go ahead and use it. I've got some green crystal flash. We'll just go ahead and put it in there. I was going to use the yellow, but uh, let's try this green and see how it works. I'm just going to lay it right on top of the hook. We'll give it a few wraps here just to get it secured in. Pull this right straight back. And tie it right back down to the bottom. Then we'll get in here and trim off this excess crystal flash. Well, I can still move it around a little bit. I'll take and pull it to this side. build this thread up. I like these jig heads with, uh, with just the thread without the chenille. We're just going to try to slope it from the head back toward the back of the jig. This is kind of a lemon lime color. We can call it the Sprite Jig, I don't know. I believe we've got plenty of, plenty of thread on there now. Now we'll get ready to do our whip finish. Let's go five times. Pull it tight. I'm going to have to practice on that hand whip finish. I've not done a lot of that. On this one, instead of the Sally Hansen, I'm going to use a little bit of UV resin. Just 
got some good coat of UV rays on that. And I'm going to take my light, my UV light, and I just want to, I just want to get that set up where it's not running. I've got a box over here I fixed the other day. Uh, put me a UV light in it. Uh, so we're going to try to just enough to keep it from running and then we'll put it over here in our box. Guys, right there we go. Not a bad looking little crappy jig. Guys, as always, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, if you liked the video, just take a second there and hit that like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one.